Dostin E. Karbala, The Tragic Saga of Sacrifice and Resilience Dostin E. Karbala, translated as the Epic of Karbala, is a poignant and significant event in Islamic history. It revolves around the martyrdom of Imam Hussein ibn Ali, the beloved grandson of Prophet Muhammad, and his devoted companions on the desolate plains of Karbala in 680 AD. The story encompasses themes of bravery, resilience, sacrifice, and unwavering commitment to upholding the principles of justice and truth. 1. Background To understand the events of Karbala, we must delve into the political and religious context of the time. After the death of Prophet Muhammad in 632 AD, leadership disputes emerged within the Muslim community. These disagreements culminated in the division between the Sunni and Shia branches, with Imam Ali, Hussein's father, being the fourth caliph of the Rashidun Caliphate and the first Imam for the Shia sect. 2. The Rise of the Umayyad Caliphate Amidst the political turbulence, the Umayyad Caliphate emerged, with Muawiyah becoming its first caliph. His son, Yazid I, succeeded him, marking a turning point in Islamic governance. The Umayyad rule was characterized by tyranny, nepotism, and deviating from the teachings of Islam. 3. Imam Hussein's Refusal of Allegiance as the rightful heir to the caliphate according to the Shia belief, Imam Hussein refused to pledge allegiance to the illegitimate rule of Yazid I. He was deeply troubled by the corruption and injustice that had come to plague the Muslim community under Yazid's reign. The people of Kufa, Iraq, sent letters inviting Imam Hussein to lead them against Yazid's tyranny, and he decided to heed their call. 4. The Journey to Karbala Accompanied by his family members and a small band of loyal followers, Imam Hussein embarked on a treacherous journey from Medina to Kufa. However, they were intercepted by Yazid's forces in the barren land of Karbala. 5. The Siege of Karbala Imam Hussein and his entourage, totaling approximately 72 individuals, found themselves surrounded by a massive Umayyad army that vastly outnumbered them. The opposing forces cut off their access to water, subjecting them to unimaginable hardships. 6. The Day of Ashura On the 10th of Muharram, known as Ashura, the battle ensued. The day saw remarkable displays of courage and selflessness from Imam Hussein's companions, who willingly sacrificed their lives to protect him and the principles of justice and righteousness. 7. The Martyrdom of Imam Hussein Despite their valor, the forces of Yazid ultimately overpowered Imam Hussein's group. The battle concluded with the martyrdom of Imam Hussein and many of his relatives and companions. This tragic event occurred on the 10th of Muharram, 680 AD. 8. Aftermath and Significance The aftermath of the Battle of Karbala was a period of mourning and reflection for the Muslim community. Imam Hussein's sacrifice became a symbol of resistance against oppression and tyranny, inspiring countless individuals to stand for justice and truth throughout history. 9. Commemoration of Ashura To this day, Muslims around the world commemorate the events of Karbala during the month of Muharram particularly on the day of Ashura. The commemoration involves various rituals, including processions, recitations of elegies and poetry, and acts of charity. Conclusion Dostin e Karbala remains a timeless and potent reminder of the value of standing up against injustice and upholding the principles of truth and justice, even in the face of overwhelming odds. The martyrdom of Imam Hussein and his companions serves as an enduring source of inspiration for people of all faiths, emphasizing the importance of integrity, resilience, and sacrifice in the pursuit of righteousness.